Hi and welcome to Select 10. In this video, we are going to count down our picks for 10 best action movies on Netflix, which you should watch now. And we haven't included already so popular movies like Extraction and The Old Guard, as you might have heard about them in so many other videos. We have tried to make a mixed list of Netflix original movies and few Hollywood action movies which are currently available on Netflix. So watch full video to avoid missing any movie from this list. Now let's start the video. On number 10. SAS, Red Notice. Player in the battle space. He's armed and skilled. He's looking for a way into the carriages. Based on the novel of the same name, it is a British action thriller film directed by Magnus Martins. The story follows Tom Buckingham, a special forces operator, who is taking Dr. Sophie Hart from London to Paris to propose, but when their train is deep inside the Channel Tunnel, Grace Lewis and her team of heavily armed war criminals, known as Black Swans, seize the train and hold hundreds of passengers hostage. Grace threatens to expose the British government's darkest secrets and blow up the Channel Tunnel if her ransom demands are not met. Unarmed and cut off from his counter-terror team, now it's up to Tom to stop the terrorists while protecting his partner Sophie. The movie has 5.2 rating on IMDb and 66% audience score on Rotten Tomatoes. Yes, the movie has low rating, but I can tell you, an action movie fan will enjoy this one. Number 9. Kate. Then you're outnumbered. It is an action thriller film directed by Cedric Nicholas Troyan. The story follows Kate, an assassin and expert sniper, who eliminates targets chosen by her trusted mentor, Varric. During her recent mission, Kate is in Osaka to kill an officer of a powerful Yakuza boss, but Kate resists taking the shot because of child present around the target. She ultimately shoots the target at Varric's command, but it made her realize that she is done with this job, she tells Varric that she will do one final mission and then retire so she can start a new life. Before the final mission, Kate was poisoned with polonium-204, a dangerous drug with no antidote, and she has only 24 hours to live and find out who did this to her. And the movie has 6.2 rating on IMDb and 51% critic score on Rotten Tomatoes. Number 8. Tears of the Sun. It is an action thriller directed by Antoine Fuqua. The story follows Lt. A.K. Waters, who has been assigned to lead a team of soldiers into the Nigerian jungle to rescue Dr. Lena Kendricks. When Waters and his team locate Kendricks, she tells them she won't leave her helpless patients to be slaughtered by rebels. The team suffer the wrath of both U.S. and Nigerian forces when they side with Kendricks and attempt to march the refugees to safety. I can say, many of you might not heard about this movie, and if you want to watch a war drama with good action, then you should try this one. The movie has low 33% critic score, but 69% audience score on Rotten Tomatoes, and it's totally worth a watch. And it has 6.6 .6 rating on IMDb. Number 7. White House Down. It is an action thriller film directed by Roland Emmerich. The story follows a divorced U.S. Capitol Police officer named John Cale as he attempts to rescue both his daughter Emily and the President of the United States, James Sawyer, when a heavily armed paramilitary group attacks the White House and seizes control. As the nation's government dissolves in chaos, only Cale can save his daughter, the President, and the country. Overall, the movie has amazing story, lots of action to keep you entertained. And the movie has 6.3 rating on IMDb and 62% audience score on Rotten Tomatoes. Number 6. Below Zero. It is a 2021 Spanish action thriller film directed by Luz Quillas. The story follows Martin, a new prison guard who is given the difficult task of helping with the transfer of numerous dangerous prisoners on his first day. Naturally, things soon go wrong, when a mysterious figure interfere with the transfer and numerous opportunistic convicts attempting to escape in the ensuing chaos. And now the officer Martin must fight those inside and outside while dealing with the silent enemy and the icy temperatures. Overall the action is really good and the intense engaging story that keeps you hooked till the end. And the movie has 6.2 rating on IMDb and 88% critic score on Rotten Tomatoes. Number 5. Oblivion. It is a post-apocalyptic, action-adventure film, directed by Joseph Kaczynski. 
The movie takes place in 2077, on an Earth, devastated by war with extraterrestrials that has caused humanity to relocate itself to Titan. While the main story follows, Jack Harper, a technician who has been sent back to Earth to service drones used in the fight against remaining extraterrestrials. But after witnessing a spacecraft crash, from which he rescues a woman survivor, Harper is captured by scavengers and fights against a new and evolving alien threat. While the mysterious woman's arrival triggers a chain of events that culminates in Jack's nearly single-handed battle to save mankind. This is an underrated sci-fi action movie, which definitely worth a watch. And the movie has 7 rating on IMDb and 61% audience score on Rotten Tomatoes. Number 4. The Man from UNCLE. It is a spy action film directed by Guy Ritchie. It is based on the 1964 television series of the same name. The movie is set against a backdrop of the early 1960s period of the Cold War and follows two agents, Napoleon Solo and Ilya Kuryakin, as they team up on a joint mission to stop a mysterious international criminal organization, which is bent on destabilizing the fragile balance of power through the proliferation of nuclear weapons and technology. The duo's only lead is the daughter of a vanished German scientist who is the key to infiltrating the criminal organization, and they must race against time to find her and prevent a worldwide catastrophe. Overall, the movie is a stylish spy action thriller, and if you like the King's Man movies, then you will enjoy this one. And the movie has 7.2 rating on IMDb and 73% audience score on Rotten Tomatoes. Number 3. Bahu Bali, The Beginning. It is an epic action drama film directed by S.S. Rajamouli. The story is set in the kingdom of Mahishmati and follows Shavudu, an adventurous young man who helps his love of Anthika rescue Dewasena, the former queen of kingdom, who is now a prisoner under the tyrannical rule of king, Balala Dewa. But when he learns about the conflict, ridden past of his family and his legacy, he must now prepare himself to face his newfound archenemy that leads him on an adventure into completely unfamiliar territory. On this journey, he not only finds love but uncovers a truth that steers him towards his true destiny. Overall, the movie has really good story, mind-boggling visuals, and crazy battle action sequences, which will keep you hooked from start to the end. And the movie was made in two parts, and the second part concludes the story. And the movie has 8.1 rating on IMDb and 89% critic score on Rotten Tomatoes. Number 2. Red Notice. It is a 2021 action comedy film, written, directed, and produced by Ross and Marshall Thurber. When an Interpol issued Red Notice, the highest level warrant to hunt and capture the world's most wanted goes out. The FBI's top profiler, Dwayne Johnson takes the case, and his global pursuit finds him in the middle of a daring heist where he's forced to partner with the world's greatest art thief, Ryan Reynolds, in order to catch the world's most wanted art thief, Gal Gadot. Apart from its A-list cast, this movie is full on entertaining, with its mind-blowing action, comedy and its stunning visuals. And the movie has 6.4 rating on IMDb and 92% score on Rotten Tomatoes. Number 1. The Night Comes For Us. It is a 2018 Indonesian action thriller film, written and directed by Timo Gijanto. The story follows Ito, a top organized crime enforcer, who decides to turn his back on his former life as a killer to rescue a young girl. But the main story starts when a crime syndicate sends in a rising gang prospect, Aryan, and legions of thugs to eliminate him and the young girl. While the rest of the movie revolves around his efforts to save the girl and himself as assassins and gang members chase him. Overall, the movie is a martial arts extravaganza that pegged to the full-body Indonesian fighting style, which allows for super gory combat scenes that keeps you on the edge of your seat. And without a doubt, it is one of the most violent action movie you will see on Netflix. And the movie has 7 rating on IMDb and 91% critic score on Rotten Tomatoes. That's it for today, thank you for watching this video. And do subscribe our channel to see more videos related to movies and series suggestions.